Welcome to our little express flow. All right, let's start like uh, Scott is starting on, on our back. You okay? <laughs> Pull the knees in and start to move the knees in and away and back in. And then link the breath to it. So exhale, pull the knees in. Inhale, pull the knees out. Again, exhale, pull the knees in. Inhale, move the knees out. One more, exhale, pull the knees in. Now this time, inhale, open the arms out. Good. Now let's start moving side to side. So exhale, move the knees to the right. Inhale, bring them up to center. Exhale, move the knees to the other side. Inhale, bring it to center. Again, exhale right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. One more cycle. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Good, bring the knees up as you inhale and then extend the legs up. Good, let's roll the ankles while the legs are up there. And if you need to, you can always grab the back of the legs. Good, and then reverse the ankles. So rotate reverse. And then take your arms up, roll the wrists. And then roll the wrists in the opposite direction. Okay. Right knee in, take your inhale, left leg lowers to the floor. Left leg up, inhale, switch. Exhale, right leg to the floor. Hello, good morning. Inhale, switch with right leg. Exhale, switch with left leg. Inhale, switch, right leg. Inhale, switch, left leg. Two more switches. Inhale, switch, right leg. Switch, exhale, left leg. Okay, keep the leg in, take your inhale, swing yourself up to a seat. Exhale, twist to the left. Good, so the left leg is bent, the right leg is straight. <laughs> you can dance, he's, he's like moving his foot. I'm like, oh yeah, swing. All right, turn to the right. Take your right hand back. Bring your left arm up. If it feels good, press into your left foot and into your right hand and bring your bum off the mat. Good, bring yourself back up, inhale. Switch sides. So the left leg is straight, the right leg bends. Twist to the right. And then look forward, switch. Bring your left leg hand back. Take your right arm up and stay seated. Or if you want, press and lift. 
Good. Lower the hips, inhale. Tabletop is next. Exhale. So in table, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Shift forward and shift back in tabletop. Now link with the breath. Shift forward, inhale. Get into the wrists. Shift back, exhale. Get into the hips. Two more, inhale forward, exhale back. One more, inhale forward. This time when you exhale, shift back and find your down dog. It is an express class, so we get right into it. Walk the dog. <laughs> now, when you walk the dog, you're essentially bending one knee as the other heel drops, and then you're creating a little hip movement with it. Yes, the next time the left knee bends, bring it down, send the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip on the inhale, bring the knee in as you exhale. So stay like this with your knee down, do this three more times or come off your knee, inhale and then exhale, pull it in. Two more like that, inhale, exhale. Ooh, nice breathing in and out through the nose, inhale. This time when you exhale, step the right foot forward. Now stay on the back knee and send both arms up. This is called crescent prep, right? Or crescent pose, but modified with your knee down. Bend your elbow so you soften your shoulders. Stay on your knee or come off your knee this time. Good. If you came off your knee, come back down to your knee, easy. Grab your blocks if you want. Keep your back toes tucked, send your right leg straight. And then rock forward and back a few times, right? So just kind of creating a little dynamic movement here from a lunge to the half monkey. You got it. The next time you rock forward, take your inhale, take your blocks and move them off to the side. And then as you exhale, come all the way up, warrior two, back foot on a diagonal, front foot straight and then you walk your run foot foot to the right a few times let's go in and out of warrior two three times inhale exhale inhale exhale and just one more inhale exhale hold your warrior two Look over your right fingertips. Relax your shoulders. Keep your legs. Reverse your warrior. My dad's taking the right arm up and back. Stay here for a moment. We'll run through it in a moment without holding it as long. Good, and then from here, reach your left arm back and then sweep both arms forward and let's move back into crescent. Use your transition, reach back into crescent. Inhale, down dog, exhale. So it's back to where we were, down dog. Pedal out your dog again. And then the next time the right knee bends, bring it to the floor. Lift the left leg up, open the hip. Inhale here. Exhale, knee pulls in. And then you do it three more times like that or with your right knee off the mat. 
Inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. This time you exhale, step the foot forward. Take your right knee, bring it to the floor. Untuck the back foot, bring your arms up. Cactus your arms. Waking up the right hip, hugging the belly in, stay like this or try coming off the back knee. Keep your elbows bent, reach your elbows up. Keep your hips forward though. So try not to open the right hip to the right. And then bring your knee back to the floor. So that takes control. You can always double up your mat or put a towel underneath it. Keep your right toes tucked, hands to frame the left foot. If you have a block or a couple blocks, it's helpful. Shift back, stay back. Breathe and soften the leg. Can you rock forward and back a few times? Rock forward, inhale. Rock back, exhale. Rock forward, inhale. Rock back, exhale. Good, this time when you rock forward, stay forward. Bring that back knee off the mat if it's okay. Move the blocks. Send your arms back up. You're back in crescent, squared hips. The more you bend your front knee, the harder you're working. So if you're feeling like you need to come off the knee bend a little bit, just stay off of it. Inhale, and as you exhale, warrior two, facing the right. Okay, walk your left foot to the left, bend the knee, anchor through the back foot, three pumps. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hold your warrior two. Keep inviting that front knee towards the pinky side of the foot. Reverse your warrior, keep the legs, bring the left arm up and back. Your body remembers all these, these movements and when we move into the next flow where we move, with more of a flow, swifty way, you'll remember what to do. Good, now take your back arm back, transition. So you have to bring the arm forward. You take that right hip, bring it forward, pick up your back heel, and there you are again, crescent pose. Inhale in crescent, use your core to plant your palms. Step back, down dog. Now add your plank pose on the inhale, point your elbows back. Exhale, look slightly ahead, drop your knees and with control lower. Cobra pose, inhale. Down dog or child's pose, exhale. All right, let's get into it. Feet together. Right leg lifts, inhale, put your left knee down if it feels better. Bend the knee, exhale. Extend the knee higher on the inhale, pull the knee into the belly. Now, if you wanna pick up a little more heat, when you pull it into the belly, stack your shoulders forward over the wrists. And then do it again, inhale, lift and open. Yes, exhale, pull it in, and then stack shoulders forward, look forward. One more, inhale, lift and open. Exhale, forward, stack forward, step your foot forward. Here it is again. Send your arms back for a moment, lengthen your neck, and sweep it all up, inhale. 
Exhale, sweep it back. Two more, sweep it up, inhale. Back, exhale. Sweep it up, inhale. Okay, this time when you exhale, sweep back, lean forward. Stay here, keep looking forward or come off the back leg. Let those toes point straight down so your pelvis stays neutral. Okay, glide back into where you were. So even if it's a short little stance, it doesn't have to be super long. Find your crescent pose on the inhale. Warrior two to the left, exhale. You were here earlier. One pump only this time, inhale. Exhale, reverse your warrior, inhale. Reach your arm back behind you, your left arm back behind you. Exhale. Okay. Transition, sweep it all forward. You're back into crescent pose. Inhale. Chair pose, exhale. Take your inhale and chair. Take your exhale and chair. On your next inhale, plant your palms right in front of your feet, but wider. Come off your heels, look forward, inhale, step or hop back, plank pose. Exhale, stay in plank, look forward, point your elbows back, inhale, slowly lower to the floor, exhale. Cobra pose, inhale, three breaths to regroup. Okay, so three breaths either on your knees in child's pose, or in down dog, breathing for one. Yes, find your breath, breathing for two. Three, find your down dog, feet together. Let's go, left leg up, inhale. Bend the knee to open the top hip, exhale. Lift the knee a little higher on the inhale, pull the knee into the belly. And if you want more, stack your shoulders, look forward. Again, lift, open, inhale. Exhale, pull it in. Again, inhale, lift and open. Exhale, step it forward. Send your arms back, shoulders relax. Send your arms all the way up, inhale. Bring them back down, exhale. You can always put your back knee on the floor. Two more, inhale. Exhale. We inhale once more here. This time when you exhale, Lean forward, gaze forward, wings back. Stay or come off the back leg. Keep your pelvis neutral. Keep your right toes pointing down for three, two, one. Come back, crescent pose. Inhale. Warrior two, facing the right. Exhale. One pump. Inhale, exhale. Reverse your warrior two, inhale. Reach back, look back, exhale. Here it comes. Swing the arms forward to the best of your ability. Square your pelvis, lift up the back heel, inhale. Chair pose, exhale. Settle the hips, reach your arms up in chair. Bring your hands to the floor. Keep your tail feathers high. Heels high, look forward. Maybe while you sit here, you can practice your crow. Knees against the arms, gaze towards the front of the mat or further. Stay on your tippy toes or come off one set of tippy toes or both. Step or hop back. Point pose, inhale, lower to the belly, exhale. 
Cobra pose, inhale. Child's pose or down dog, three breaths, exhale. One more flow. Breathing for two. Breathing for three. Inhale, wherever you are. Let's meet in down dog on your exhale. Ready, feet together. We're gonna play with the same bones we were just playing with. We start off with a right leg up on the inhale. We bend the knee on the exhale, but now you have the option to stack the shoulders over the wrists as you inhale. Stay off your left knee or bring your left knee down for more support. Flip yourself over. Lower the hips and then open the arm up. Stay on your hips or off your hips. Good, lower your hips again. Use your core to step the right foot forward. Take your time, send your arms back like you did before. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Only one time, sweep the arms back, exhale. Sweep the arms up, inhale, look forward. Open your airplane wings, stay or come off the back leg, just like you did before. If you want to challenge yourself, bring the hands closer behind you, maybe even intertwine the arms. Give yourself a little stretch of the shoulders. Good, we step back to a crescent, even if it's a little short crescent, it doesn't have to be super long. Arms up, inhale, warrior two to the left, exhale. One pump, again, inhale, exhale. Reverse it as you inhale, but this time, we're gonna hold triangle. So prep for triangle, extend the arms and legs, reach to the right on the inhale, right hand down, left arm up. Good, so make sure that your right toes point forward, your knees are straight. You can bring your hand to the leg or the thigh. You can even bring your hand to a block if you want. So your leg, your hand does not have to be in the lower leg. Okay, sweep up and reverse this triangle. Now take the back arm back and come out of it like we did on the other side. Sweep your arms forward, come into crescent pose on the inhale, come into chair pose as you exhale. Hands down, tail feathers up, look forward, inhale. Stay here for an exhale, maybe come off your feet if you wanna try crow, hold it, step or hop back, plank pose to down dog if you're tired or plank pose towards the belly. And then we take cobra, inhale, and we finish to the other side, exhale. This is it, feet come together. Left leg up, inhale. Bend the knee as you exhale. Shoulders come right over the hip, um, the wrists. Take your knee down for support or leave it up. Flip yourself over. Nice, Ed, looks good. Keep squeeze, squeezing your fingertips on the mat. Look towards where your foot is going, all right? Use your core and try to do your best at stepping your foot forward. Okay, take your time, send your arms back so you have nice neutral spine and then sweep them up. Inhale up, exhale back. Keep forward with the gaze, reach your arms back as you inhale, stay or come off the back leg. 
And then play with bringing your hands closer behind you if you want, maybe even interlacing the palms behind you. Step back into that crescent pose, just for your inhale. Find your warrior two to the right as you exhale. Just one pump, inhale. Exhale, reverse your warrior as you inhale, prepare for triangle. So as you exhale, lengthen your limbs, glide to the left, left hand down, right arm up. Right shoulder points back or moves back, the head moves back. We root and reverse it. Rise up, left arm up and back, inhale. Bring the hand back and then cartwheel everything to the front. Be ready. You're moving into chair or chair to crow. So step forward, inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Stay folded, look forward or play with your crow. Hold this for three, hold it for two, hold it, one, take an inhale and step or hop back. And then as you exhale, lower to the belly. It's Cobra on the inhale, child's pose, you are done, exhale. Yee. Little 30 minute, minute power. Rest, relax, reboot. Thank you for joining.